distinguished guests, good morning. You know, for this project, we think that we have a great team put together for the project, and the team had been working for several years in preparation. This is a mega challenge for us. And Mr. Kong Qingwei from Shanghai Tower Corporation Limited also talked to Tim, conference chair, by saying that we created a great concept. But in actual implementation, it is also a mega challenge. Therefore, the realization of the design of this project cannot go without the great effort input by the designer team and also engagement from the owner side, from engineering to management, all the way to finance. We got a lot of support from the client side. And also, actually, the Shanghai government gave substantial support to this project. So I would like to say it is like the culmination of a lot of effort made by multiple stakeholders. When it comes to the concept itself, general manager Mr. Gu also said to the effect that the building itself is like a symbol of Shanghai City. When it comes to Shanghai City, what are the characteristics of Shanghai? It is blessed with the Mother River, Huangpu River, and a lot of a road and a highway networks of Shanghai used to be like the kind of a water troughs in the past. So later on, the water troughs was filled and it become land on which the buildings came into being. I was born and brought up in Shanghai. Shanghai is a very flexible city. This is going to be like the tallest building in Shanghai. We think it should be as flow as a water. So from a morphology perspective, we hope it is just like water with flexibility and a flow Second, Shanghai is a diversified city with multiple cultures because in Shanghai, we have the migrants coming from all over the places in this country. We also have influences in culture from Europe and America. Therefore, Shanghai is a culturally diversified city. This is why we want to combine the diversity of culture of Shanghai with the vertical city concept. So actually, um, uh, Shanghai is also a very inclusive city. So we would like to put this philosophy into this building. In addition, it is our hope that in this city and also in this project, we would like to have more public areas. Well, Shanghai is an open city, and Beijing is different because historically speaking, it is a capital of four emperors, and it also the military center. Basically, it is a city of privacy. And however, in Shanghai, Shanghai is a commercial city, so it is a city for business. So we need to have the openness. Well, from the lanes like Xintiandi, and also for the street and for the plaza and for the central and plaza, and Shanghai is a city of openness. So we hope that this openness and transparency can be expressed by means of this building. So this is another. Characteristics of us. So we talk about nature, culture, and uh, future. We hope that the green um, technology in the building can fully demonstrate all these um, ideas. So for this uh, height, so and also for this uh, shape. So it is a spiral. It is a double skin. Well, for this uh, double skin building. So it is also a demonstration of Chinese culture because we can see a virtual area for the outside and inside. This is also one of the Chinese elements in Chinese culture, like in Shi Kumen and also in Xin Tiandi. So you can see before you go to the apartment or the house, so there is a courtyard. So it is some space, some buffer space, getting into the center. So especially when you at the height of 500 meters, and you are in the middle of the cloud, then in the um, guest house, yeah, between the guest house and the outside, then you still have a buffer area. So I think it is a, a also a demonstration of Chinese elements, and also in terms of uh, the mold and uh, also the shape. So behind that, how can we use the geometry and how can we employ the mathematics to have a feasible model, a geometrical model which can be constructed? So I think I would like to invite our senior 
um, engineer and a designer, also a very important uh, contributor, Michael, here to share with us uh, yeah, how we use the digital an idea to show uh, this uh, flexible um, model by this uh, double skin structure. Yeah, because uh, we hope that it is also a kind of architectural uh, magic. So now I would like to invite Marco. So thank you. So next, so in the process of design, so I would like to share with you what kind of technology techniques that we have employed. We know that for the super high rises, so there's a, we have to think uh, care about the earthquake and uh, wind, and then for the wind engineering for the super high rises, so there are some um, key characteristics. So it is a taper. So we need to have the round corner, and we also have some uh, symmetric structure. Well, in the design and uh, for the taper, we have uh, made a lot of analysis uh, from um, 90 degrees to 210 degrees. So we have uh, different uh, models, and also for the taper model, and together with our wind uh, um, tunnel engineers, we have also conducted many tests. So these are the test result. Yeah, for the 120 degrees from bottom to top, so we can see that uh, yeah we can reduce the wind load uh, by um, 24 percent, and you can see that, and also the cost of construction can also be uh, reduced. So it is uh, also uh, the cost saving will be uh, 350 million yuan. So you can see the double skin uh, structure, and uh, you can also find the middle column. So here, so I would like to share with you um, some of the parameters and also the table. So just now we have mentioned that uh, that it will be the tallest uh, parametric tower. So while we are designing it, we have used uh, the new um, platform. So here you can see that uh, in our working process, so different uh, from the conventional one, so we have uh, adopted uh, some uh, new approaches. So you can take a look at some um, key concepts. So while we are using this uh, new platform, so we can see some supporting concepts. So one is a generative uh, algorithm. So in the process of design, so we have uh, adopted the new model. So we don't use uh, the drawing directly. We set up the models, and we have also analyzed the interrelationship between these uh, models. And then we also have the interactive um, um, interface in most cases. So we will also have the programming of uh, graphic strips because of this uh, new platform. So we can use the graphic uh, script. And also for our um, results, and uh, we will have the data and the 3D model um, output. So they are of uh, different uh, dimensions. So it will be different outputs. Uh, compared with the conventional one, for example, Excel and also geometric models. And the models are in different layers. Uh, and we have the skin and the structural uh, models. OK, next slide. So there is a, a short video for you to take a look. So in this uh, module, so in most uh, cases, you can see that we will input uh, parameters and also the tapering and also the models uh, for our skin. And uh, also at the initial stage of work, so we will have the definition for our geometry, because even we have uh, the most uh, um, state-of-the-art technologies, we still have to go back to the basic uh, geometry. So you can see that we have uh, two um, circles here. So while we are working on this module, you know, we have to have uh, some parameters. So it has to be conducted in sequence. So this is the center. So this is uh, called uh, um, WP1 and then WP2. So these um, positions uh, has uh, to be generated uh, according to the parameters. And you can also find that it is driven by the triangle. 
and this is uh, the A1 angle. And you can also see that uh, for A1, they have uh, different relationships. And you can also find the round on corner here, and they are of different angles. So for the larger uh, uh, angles, uh, then it looks uh, sharper. So if it is uh, too small, maybe it looks uh, too round. And once we input all these uh, parameters, uh, we can have the dynamic adjustment. Let's take a look at this video. So you can see that while we are adjusting the angle A, and then you can see the round corner is also um, adjusted accordingly. And uh, once uh, the geometric uh, model is uh, finished, uh, then we can generate our layout. So all these technical drawings uh, will be input into AutoCAD, and then we will have the optimization process, and then it will be documented. Well, for this part, uh, actually, it can also be conducted in Excel because all the calculation yeah, will also be illustrated later because uh, partially it is about geometry, um, part of them will be our uh, spreadsheet. And the another key issue is about the um, um, uh, exponential uh, reduction. So we have the exponential uh, reduction. So I think it, it is similar to the natural uh, growth. So once we set up this equation, so you can see that. Uh, so the key drivers are the height. So once we put the height into this um, uh, formula, and then we can know the reduction on indicator. And for the multiply or the indicator, we can um, come up with the different uh, results. So we have uh, made a lot of analysis, and you can see that uh, the shape of the skin is also in proportional with the internal shape. Well, you can say that uh, actually the internal yeah, um, column, actually it is also the spiral um, column. We can make sure that there's no conflict uh, between two skins. So here, let's uh, take a closer look at uh, the building skin and how we did the analysis of these uh, building skins. Well, in the design process, because it is a twisted shape. So you can find uh, that it is uh, on the surface of this uh, geometry. So because of this uh, twisted, so, so we have the shingle or the scale um, shape. Because if they are not in the same uh, surface, so we will have this uh, shingle um, shape. And uh, there is another mode, it is called the smooth mode. Yeah, because uh, for the two points, uh, and uh, locally, then you can see that it, yeah, it is a special a smooth uh, shape. So currently in the installation, we use another approach. It is called a stagger. Yeah, yeah, because for each uh, um, glass, it can be rectangular. Well, we have used uh, these uh, three um, uh, modes, and then we also have the prototype. Yeah, once uh, the prototype analysis uh, is finished, uh, we probe into more details. And you can also see the logical relationship yeah, from the round corner to the detail adjustment and also the generation of the nodes. And everything is included into this uh, spreadsheet. So this is the visual um, result. And also, the convenient part is that uh, this uh, logical mode actually yeah, can be inserted uh, um, yeah, because of our digital structure. So this is about the shift percentage. So by adjusting yeah, the uh, story shift percentage, and we can make the adjustment very easily. And, uh, OK, next slide. So you can see that the two um, beams are in the middle of the chart. Yeah, because of the adjustment, it's a holistic adjustment. If you adjust the one parameter and the whole module will be generated accordingly, then uh, we can output uh, all the other data. So this is about the length and the width uh, and also the code bending angle. So this is the smooth mode, and this is not a rectangular. This is of uh, different sides. So we have to make sure that uh, all these two angles uh, are uh, 90 um, degrees. So then we can have a one-time cutting. And here in the procedure, you can see that we can output all the parameters after the adjustment. And then we can have the um, Excel. And then you can see the LA, LB, LC. And all these uh, code bending angles are available. 
So you can see that uh, this is our first uh, um, steel pay plate and two the uh, 35 uh, steel plates. Okay, let's also take a look at our supporting structure. Of our supporting structure, so actually it is uh, of a regular shape, and you can also see the supporting and also the sloping. So you can see that everything is pointing to the center. Yeah, at the connection, you can also see the projection. So actually in the space, uh, so you can see that uh, these angles are different. So actually we cannot accomplish it uh, by Excel. We have to use uh, this uh, parameter uh, model to accomplish this uh, modeling. So all the model will be handled in different area. You know, once uh, this relationship is uh, set up, so the initial data uh, figures uh, can be changed. For example, the rotation can be changed uh, if we go back to 90 degrees and the entire model can also be updated. And uh, once uh, the relationship is uh, established, then all the dimensions will also be input. For example, on the, uh, the belt uh, ring diameter, and also the strut, and also the story shift, and every parameter can be adjusted uh, dynamically. Okay, next slide. So by means of all these uh, parameters and models, so you can see that it is uh, in great detail. So this is another model. So this is about the supporting the structure, and all the structure is available. And you can also see the horizontal um, slider. And then there's a tower crown. Yeah, because we have one more parameter about our curve. And uh, this is uh, one more difficulty in addition to the reduction. So this is the original draft uh, because uh, between these uh, two skins, we have to make sure that uh, one, uh, when the curve is uh, rising, so the geometry is perfect. This is the final version. And uh, we control this uh, cur curve. So if we can control the depth of the curve, uh, then the model can be in good balance. So this is the output of our uh, shape. And you can also see the uh, steel strap and also the internal wall. And then we can submit it to our wind tunnel engineers, and they will continue to develop and analyze the structure for the wind tunnel. And also for some components, so we will also generate the drawings accordingly. And all these uh, um, figures and data will be exported to Excel form and uh, via our customized script. And actually, we can exchange uh, the data yeah, in the fundamental level. So, and also in our software, and we can come up with all these uh, structural charts. So, on this chart, you can see the entire flow chart. So, once we set up uh, all these uh, parameters and input the data, and then after the drivers, and then we can um, output all these uh, data. Uh, so, for the parametric design, it is about our algorithm, and it also is about the computational complexity. And and you have also seen the process. And uh, yeah, we can have uh, um, the uh, operations in uh, larger quantities. So in the past, it is not feasible. Well, this uh, parametric design, so it is uh, based uh, on different uh, dimensions. Uh, then we can uh, output and uh, share our architectural design. OK, thank you for your listening.